Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Scala Covert. And I'm Madeline Wester. Today on DP News, Homecoming. Senior Day tomorrow. No block schedule and more. DP News starts now. Thanks for tuning in to, to DP, DP News. News. Homecoming dance will be held at Earl Warren Showgrounds on Saturday, November 7th. The dance will be held from 8.30 to 11.30 p.m. Students must have a DP identification or ASB card to enter the dance. Tickets will not be sold at the door, so be sure to get your tickets tomorrow at lunch or Friday at lunch in the business office. They will be $12 with the charger card, $17 without, and $20 for guests. Seniors, listen up! Senior day is tomorrow. This means all seniors should report to the Greek Theater by 8.55 a.m. Attendance will be taken at that time, so be sure you're not late. Also, every senior will be going through the DP Newsroom to vote for senior songs. We are doing the senior lip dub, so make sure you wear your senior shirts for it. Before you get to the Greek, bring your magazine sales to turn into the EPAC and bring t-shirts to match whoever you are partnering with to spell out a word of your choice. But make sure it's school appropriate. Also, you're welcome to bring swimsuits for the pool if you want to swim. We will not be having block day tomorrow and Thursday. Because of activities and assemblies, there will be no zero period tomorrow. Instead, it will be on Thursday. This year's fall play, Peter and the Starcatcher show dates are coming up in November. Here's Alex Basescu to tell you more. Hi, I'm Alex Basescu, and I'm playing Stash in Peter and the Starcatcher. Stash is like Captain Hook. Well, he is, but before he loses his hand, he loses his hand during the show. So there's like solid five minutes of me just shouting, oh my god, on stage. That'll be really fun. Then, um, basically, it just explains why everything in Peter Pan is the way it is. Um, there's tons of hints to tell you that it's the prequel to Peter Pan. First one being the name of the show actually involving Peter. And the second one being like the fact that the whole thing is so explicit. I have a lot of lines I like, but my favorite line... Oh, to be in England now that springtime is there. But whoever's not in England gets to see my facial hair. Now, you're likely wondering, can the fellow before you be this entirely evil? And it just like goes on and on, and it's fun, and my vocal cords hurt from doing it because I'm not British. So, dates and show times, November 13, 14, 15. Um, so, for more information, you can check it out online, and it's going to be really good. If you took video or pictures during the ShakeOut earthquake drill and would like to be in the yearbook, please email them to dpnews at dpnews.org. That is all your campus news today. Now over to your sports with Nico and Ashley. DP, I'm Ashley. And I'm Mika. Here with your sports report. Girls tennis is competing at league finals all week. And boys water polo plays the Buena Bulldogs here at 3. Girls volleyball plays the Ventura Cougars at 6. It's also senior night for our outstanding seniors. Here's Jeffrey with another Chow Challenge. Alrighty, thank you Nico and Ashley. I'm here. I'm Jeffrey Chow with another Chow Challenge. And I'm here challenging the Dos Pueblos girls varsity volley volleyball team with... Audrey Baldwin. Kat Hogan. And I, with two of them, I can't face them alone, so I ask for the help of team captain Ryan Fidel of the wrestling team. All right, what will we get if we score one point on you guys? A homecoming date with Audrey. <laughs> A homecoming date with Audrey. Oh, that's good. Now, let's see this.
Good job, boys. Cross Country competes at the Santa Barbara Country County Championships at 2. On Thursday, the boys water polo travels to San Marcos to play the Royals at 3. Also this Thursday, girls volleyball plays the Buena Bulldogs here at 6. That's all for your sports report. Now let's spike it on over to Nick with World News. Hey VP, it's Nick Hernandez with the current events. President Barack Obama recently acknowledged new regulations that help bring a change to the over-testing in our nation's public schools. He pledges to reduce the amount of mandated standardized tests that are required for students to accomplish. From recent studies from the Council of the Great City Schools, a typical student takes 112 mandated standardized tests between pre-kindergarten to the senior year of high school. Also, this statistic does not include the individual tests teachers give out. Now, wow, that's a whole bunch of tests. This statistic triggered an immediate reaction from President Obama, who said that he wants the U.S. students to take fewer and better tests. Now, over to the weather with Lizette. Hey there, DP. Today's temperatures will be 79 degrees. Tomorrow and Thursday's temperatures will be 80 degrees. The surf will be 3 to 5 feet, with 5 feet being the highest point at noon and 6 p.m. on Wednesday and Thursday. I'm glad I know sign language. It's really handy. I'm Lizette with your weather signing out, and we'll see you on Friday, DP.